911, life-threatening emergencies. I just want to say very, very briefly, and this is not to cause anyone anxiety, but it's really important to know you only dial 911 in a true emergency. Please don't dial 911 if there is not an emergency. There are <clears throat> there's some consequences to that. Clearly, that would be uh, decided upon, uh, assessed at that time. But you don't want to call 911 if you're not sure where your local grocery store is. Every state has their own uh, set of um, consequences as to dialing 911. That's kind of how serious it is. So again, I just want to make sure everybody knows that's typically for life-threatening emergencies. And a good rule of thumb medically is if they're elderly or children, those are the, the times you really want to pay attention to maybe using 911 as well. So heart attacks, everybody's familiar with how to assess that. Major accident, violent crimes, you may not really think about it, but there have been times in all of our lives where we've been at the, <laughs> the wrong place at the wrong time and have seen and witnessed certain things and you have to be quick and on the ball in order to, you know, get ahead of that situation so that things don't further get out of control. Uh, dangerous situations like a fire, a gas leak. I last summer was in a holiday inn. I was on vacation with our family and uh, a giant explosion in the hotel and it rocked the entire hotel and we thought well this is the end of the world the entire hotel is going to crash down and it ended up that their one of their generators had completely exploded in the hotel and so we quickly i i would imagine that 911 in that area probably got about 250 calls all at the same time but they were very quick to get fire, ambulance, police, everybody over to that situation. Because in a situation like that, nobody's quite sure what it is. I mean, is, is this something that requires police as well as? So, you know, that that's always good to know that more than one resource oftentimes are going to come to your rescue. So it's not just going to be one. It might be two or three. Uh, medical emergencies, you guys are all really, really great at doing those assessments. Severe illnesses, unresponsive people, again, don't forget the babies and the elderly, they're super important. 